He knows a lot about the science stuff, Professor Dave explains. Let's go back to your garage to make some more physics toys. You found a nice rigid spring with a spring constant of 85.4 newtons per meter. It is 10 centimeters long when relaxed and 6 centimeters when fully compressed. If you compress the spring and put a little 0.01 kilogram army guy on top, how high will it be launched when you release the spring? To answer this, we need Newton's laws, kinematics, and information about springs. So check out my tutorials on these subjects if you need to. Then see what you can get for an answer. As we said, the spring constant on this spring is 85.4 newtons per meter. If the spring is 10 centimeters when relaxed and 6 centimeters when compressed, then releasing this spring will mean that it expands by a length of 4 centimeters, or 0.04 meters. Multiplying this by the spring constant will tell us the amount of force that is imparted by the spring as it expands this distance. That will give us 3.4 newtons as the force imparted on the figurine. Don't forget that there's also gravity pulling downwards, and that's equal to mg. So 0.01 kilograms times 9.8 meters per second squared gives us 0.098 newtons downwards. That means the net force will still be about 3.3 newtons upwards. Now from here, we have to figure out the acceleration that this force will produce. That's easy, it's just F equals ma. Plugging in 3.3 newtons and 0.01 kilograms, we get 330 meters per second squared, a pretty huge acceleration. But remember, this acceleration only lasts during the time that the figurine is still in contact with the spring which is a distance of 0.04 meters. So what velocity will the figurine have as it leaves the spring, given that it is accelerating at this rate over this distance? For that, we need kinematics. Let's use this equation here, where we can solve for the final velocity, given that the initial velocity is zero. We also have the acceleration that we calculated, as well as the distance over which the acceleration is being generated. We multiply through, take the square root, and we get 5.14 meters per second as the velocity of the figurine when it leaves the spring. Now, with this initial vertical velocity, how high will it go? Well, just as with any question of this nature, there are multiple options available to us, we just have to use equations where we know everything but one variable and try to get some useful information. As it happens, we could use this same equation again, and we could plug in our initial velocity as well as a final velocity of zero, since velocity will be zero at the moment that the object reaches the peak of the trajectory. We just need to plug in negative 9.8 meters per second squared, making sure to use a negative value, because the negative acceleration is what will reduce the velocity from this positive value down to zero, and then we can solve for the distance. So we square this and bring it to the other side, divide by these two values, and we get 1.35 meters for d. That's pretty good air for such a little army guy. Now this seems like there were a lot of steps to find this answer. But remember, all we did was find out the force imparted by the spring, the acceleration that force will produce, the velocity the figurine will attain as a result of that acceleration, and then how high it will go with that initial velocity with gravity pulling it back down. As long as we think logically in this manner, the necessary steps to perform any calculation will reveal themselves. If you're still confused, 
Practice, practice, practice. Thanks for watching, guys. Subscribe to my channel for more tutorials. Support me on Patreon so I can keep making content. And as always, feel free to email me, ProfessorDaveExplains at gmail.com.